most likely <laughs> new Skyrim game. देखो बुरुत वो कैसा है Could you stand a little taller just a tad Like this Yes yes the chin a tiny bit lower gaze a little more to the right there now hold the pose par kya rahe ho abhi matlab course wagera job kuch oh okay character design literally like skyrim pura bas barish ho rahi hai do din se barish nahi hui but pehle to barish ho rahi thi like frequently nahi but ho rahi hai अभी कैरेक्टर डिजाइन ऑब्वियसली फीमेल लूंगा मैं मैं रात को स्ट्रीम यस ब्रो मैं सोचा कि लाइक रात को आई थिंक ऑफलाइन लाइक कैजुअल स्टोरी मोड गेम्स खेलूं और बाकी का टाइम अपना यूजुअल वेलोरेंट अरे रैंक स्टार ब्रो बिग फैन यस यस सेम ब्रो बिग फैन ऑफ योर्स सेक्सी बॉय यस ब्रो when i when i thought i don't need ps go stuff oh bhai yes bro सी एस खेला जाए सी एस ब्रो समझ दो छोड़ ही दिया सी एस खेलना पर ठीक है कभी मन है तो खेल लेते यस ब्रो यस आई एंजॉय द गेम
see you later, bro. ओह ना 40 एफपीएस गेमिंग मेरे को पता नहीं क्यों गेम कैप्चर से गेम कैप्चर नहीं हो रहा दैट्स व्हाई आई एम यूजिंग डिस्प्ले कैप्चर बट लेट्स सी गेम स्मूथ चलेगा कि नहीं स्ट्रीम में जस्ट अ फ्यू मोर मिनट्स यू हैव सच एन इनक्रेडिबली सिंगुलर फेस दैट्स अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट बाय लेडी आउट ऑफ माय माउथ योर पर्टिकुलैरिटी गिव्स यू कैरेक्टर यू आर स्टिल हियर we have nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lady. You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lady, please, I beg you, Her Highness has personally requested I finish this. Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. Yeah, he bought Era of mu classical music. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, controls. Sensi. Um. <laughs> सेफ करना पड़ता है ओ भाई 
better just tell me guys ki stream smooth ho raha hai ki nahi kitna fps aa raha hai ultra pe let me check bit hmm. counter to ban kar ke rakha hai maine hello 80 70 एटी बट अभी तो सिंस हम लोग बिल्डिंग्स के अंदर बाहर जाएंगे तो पता चलेगा दिस गेम मैडम आई एम सॉरी आई एम अफ्रेड दैट आई वोंट मेक फॉर गुड कंपनी एफपीएस लॉक है क्या सिंग एनेबल है थैंक यू ओ भाई आई लॉस्ट ऑलमोस्ट माय एंटायर फैमिली इन अ फ्यू मंथ्स व्हाट डू दे हैव टू डू Don't stare at ass. Literally गेम मेरे को स्काईरिम की याद दिला रहा है गेम लैग हो रहा है क्या आई थिंक बीसिंग ऑफ करने के बाद yes. लग ही रहा था Because the reason is I am using display capture instead of game capture. Game capture me game ko capture ni I mean game capture me game capture ni ho raha. That's why I am using display capture. Or display capture VSync me he smooth hai. Hmm. You learn new things every day. Abhi display capture se agar stream karna koi bhi game then you have to enable VSync. Oh, boy, jadoo pocha kar liye. लादी पोचा स्पीक टू नोबल स्ट्रीम में डिले है थोड़ा सा सो यू नो थोड़ा हम लोगों को ये नॉर्मल लेटिन से भी स्ट्रीम कर रहा हूँ बिकॉज आई थिंक ये गेम नॉर्मल पे करना चाहिए क्या ही कर रहे हो दीदी ओ भाई ओ भाई अंदर तलवार अंदर ओ दीदी तलवार अंदर ग्रीन ब्लड एंड सो द डे हैज फाइनली कम My royal fledglings are leaving the nest, accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Cut! I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? अरे जनार्दन इतने दिनों बाद स्ट्रीम में आए हो ओ भाई दीदी कैन किक स्टर्न होता है मतलब किक करने से भैया रोड यूज नहीं करता रोड भैया जी खराब हो चुका है रोड लेफ्ट टू डॉच राइट क्लिक ओ भाई लेट मी स्टडी कंट्रोल फर्स्ट Tactical pause will pause the game and allow you to choose next action at your leisure. You will be able to access your spell skills and potion use directly or something. The fuck? Oh boy. Okay, space se pause hota game. Loade kharaab ho gaye kab ka? Death Stranding khareed ke stream karo friend for. 
फिर रुपी जोल ने ओ भाई ओ भाई फिर फ्यूरियस अटैक फ्यूरियस अटैक इज लाइट अटैक तो घंटा कुछ फर्क पड़ रहा है जब लॉस हेल्थ तो असाइन पोशन तो असाइन पोशन तो शॉर्टकट यूज टैप एक्टिकल पॉ ओके मैं तो माइक की बात कर रहा सॉरी मेरा स्ट्रीम देख के मुझे वेलोरेन स्ट्रीम करने का मन करता है बीसी अरे क्या ही करे भाई दीदी ओके सेकेंडरी अटैक किससे होता था कंट्रोल से होता था कि अब वुल्फ सीपीओ चेंज कर लो और फिर स्ट्रीम करो स्ट्रीम स्मूथ हो रहा ना पाया था वे ओ भाई ये तो पेलने वाला भाई मेरे को बहुत ग्रेट शॉर्ट लेता है अपने को छोटा तलवार देता है स्टंड वाई एम आई स्टंड वो फ्यूरी अटैक बहुत ज्यादा डैमेज देता है One might think you had a proper master of arms. The best. Are you already training for your new post of legate? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Stream buffer or regular? The performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. Okay. Kya bola isne? Go through. I'd be up for that. Let's see. A little last-minute training couldn't hurt. In that case, Otto here is going to be your training partner. Go, fight with honor. I'll try to run the SSD, the whole format, and then I'll put it back on Windows. Then try it one more time. Okay. Fire armor ideal for interrupting or disabling an enemy. Each shot consumes one ammunition. No shit. What do you want to do? ओके दही है दाधी है क्या उस वट दाढ़ी ओ माँ की चूस क्या ही बात ओ दे दे टारगेट कैसे चेंज करूँ मैं और डी नो एड्रेलिन जो क्यों मारोगे नहीं क्या ही बात ये अटैक ही नहीं करेंगे कट्टे से मारेगा अबूम व्हाट 
फिजिकल आर्मर लेवल शॉन विथ शील्ड ओ ओके ब्रेक एनिमी आर्मर इम्पैक्ट वेपन और सर्टन ट्रैप्स ट्रैप्स तो है नहीं तो खट्टे से ही आर्मर ब्रेक करना पड़ेगा इतना खट्टा ऑल द वे It appears we've brushed off on the basics. It does, and I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. Show him how happy you are that he is coming alone. Complain about being shadowed by a bodyguard. Let's be a bitch. I have to admit, I thought my days as a child, complete with bodyguard, were behind me. I do like being wanted. It would seem that the prince didn't feel you were apt to take care of yourselves alone. And so it goes. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. Have no idea. We had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for a celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Fighting style. Even good food. He. This game may walk. Kar sakte kya? What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? 
Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort to know my daughter has left on a mission to heal her people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. Oh, we can walk. Z the bucket. Nice. It's done. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You were right. Maybe he is already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier located? In the lower Boris, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Negotiate with the vendor. Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it is certainly worthy of inspection. Oh, boy. City me kuch plague ya kuch disease aaya hai. Kind of like everything is fucked up. Or up nigga cure find garna. We are someone called as green blood. That's a chaska. 
इसका भी वही हाइट है क्या थोड़ा सा अलग I wondered if you ever felt lonely. I always do. Why do you want to rectify this? <laughs> I hope to have kept you good company for all these years. After all, we were always together. And these memories I hold dear. You've always been extraordinary, Greenblood, but I had to watch over you. You were my responsibility. That didn't leave us much time for friendship. What about now? Now. I hope that we'll have more time. Anything else? I must leave you. सेचुएशन कुछ ज्यादा ही है ब्रो ओ इतने सारे पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट आई बिलीव आई सीन यू एट द पैलेस यू वन ऑफ द प्रिंसेस रिलेटिव्स यही बात
Rester Abed big fan bro. I'm also big fan of your music bro. Good day, Excellency. Lady de Sade. To what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tear D on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Yo, Ashish, bro. Yes, I bro. Of the congregation. You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that, but I'm sure that my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing, but it would take time, far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You were hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. This game is paid. It's not free. Could you tell me anything about Telene? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah, you must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. What is your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. That heresy is tolerated and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. How is Teleme faring on Tirfredi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe 
that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet. Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Yes, bro, graphics, but a chess game. There are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult. Disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on tier 3D? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious mm. fighting. The bridge has succeeded in provoking the natives there, Actually, and have their hands full. 1890 is more, but it's going to be V-Sync off. Which leads us to create a latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our but mission. But if I off V-Sync, it will be a little lag in the stream. Because this is a very graphic demanding game. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Okay. उस बंदे को इनफॉर्म कर दिया। भी इसको भी इनफॉर्म करना पड़ेगा। ब्रिज अलायंस इंबसी। अंकल जी जड़ी बूटी बना रहे हैं। I wish you a good day, Your Excellency. कारण को विस्ले। Your Excellency, Lady de Sade, I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tia My cousin Constantine is taking office as governor of New Serene. And I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Would you be so kind as to tell me what you know about the Bridge Alliance? With pleasure. A legate needs to know the history and strengths of her allies. 
The alliance was sealed by several nations of the bridge around 200 years ago. The greatest of our cities, Al Saad, became the capital, and a council formed from the different nations now rules. This union was originally put into place to better resist the appetites for conquering our neighbors, but our ancestors quickly realized that the union had also strengthened us economically and culturally. And of course, exchanges in knowledge were strongly encouraged from the outset. Today, it is by no means an overstatement to claim that the Bridge Alliance leads our world in science and exploration. Each day, we push the limits of our understanding further in each and every domain. Could you give me your understanding of the relations between the congregation and the bridge? Our relations hang essentially on the quality of our trade and commerce. The exchanges are very profitable, especially on the cultural front. I will not hide from you that we have hoped you would join our number for quite some time. But your princes insist on maintaining a neutral stance between the congregation and the other nations on the continent. It is by all means a respectable position, even if it means you also trade with our enemy. The Bridge Alliance has been on Tirfadi for much longer than we have. What can you tell me? It is true that we founded Hikmet, our newest city, around 15 years ago now. Alas, I haven't been able to go there myself. I can only tell you what others have reported to me. It is a luxurious island. An enormous dead volcano thrones in its center. The vegetation is extremely varied, and the fauna wondrous. We discovered animals that we had never, ever seen before. Some are bigger than houses. But they're not the only occupants of the island. A savage and crude people also live there, who speak an incomprehensible language. But you shall discover all of this for yourself soon enough. And what of your war with Teleme? <sighs> it has been dragging on. In fact, it has been dragging on for years. It is madness. If those bigots hadn't gotten it in their heads to convert the entire continent, we wouldn't be in this situation. But that's the way of the world. We shall not waver. Whether here or on Tiafredi. Have you been fighting battles there as well? From what I've been told, Teleme has wisely and tastefully built their colony far from our city. Direct conflicts are in fact quite rare. But one day they will inevitably take place. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady de Sade. सिटी छोड़ने से पहले छोटे मोटे काम करने पड़ेंगे सिटी नहीं नेशन आई थिंक अपन कोई दूसरे आइलैंड पे ही जा रहे हैं Such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with?
I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. <laughs> don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? What will be your official title on Tier Fredig? Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? Come now, don't be ridiculous. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor. Nothing more. But His Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. I am therefore required to take note of all events, uh, chart the island and its resources, but also obtain as much knowledge as possible concerning the more dangerous creatures of the island. Your help will be extremely valuable to me. I have no longer the legs of an adventurer. <laughs> it's always a privilege to help, Master. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Oh. 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 Uh, some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's niece. All is in order. You will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know of. 
I doubt that Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I feel something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. You haven't heard anything about my cousin, by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern, but I haven't heard anything else. That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, I mean, I don't think so. But it's difficult to be sure. Miss Jonas. Does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Lara. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking, maybe clandestine passengers? Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails, not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you, why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Nothing to bother yourself about. I'm just curious. You wouldn't, by the sheerest of coincidences, be on the trail of a couple of heretics, Your Excellency. The same a couple of the ambassadors of Telema's men have been looking for nigh on two days. And so you know about that? Of course. The Cardinal's henchmen are hard to miss, even in a crowd. And they were making quite a fuss, hoping we would cave in and help them in their hunt. Feel free to carry out your own investigation, but you'll end up with the same answers. The port brigs, just like the warehouse, are property of the Nords. No one else may enter. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Our ships can sail where no others dare. Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. How do you become a Nord? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the Nords master. As for your question, any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a Nort from birth. Others are sea gifted, joined the Norts for different reasons, often from a young age. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. Could you tell me anything about our destination? The island of Tiafidi? It is a magnificent place. Wild. Spared from your wars and your mines. For now, the natives have a relationship with their land and consider it sacred. They're a very friendly people, welcoming, but will appear to you strangely familiar. I've also heard that there are a great many exotic creatures, some enormous, but I wouldn't know what else to tell you. I've never strayed far from the ports. What do you think of our port? Are you referring to this one? It is the biggest high seas port on the continent. Thanks to your prince, even though it remains part of your city, it holds a particular status for us Nords. Certain zones are owned completely by us, and maritime law holds office. It's a good port. Were it not for the Malachor, it would be a pleasant place to dock. Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a Captain Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into this jail.
what's it? Are you the smuggler? You snuck yourself in here just to ask me that question? If this is some sort of trick to get me to admit to some crime, you are truly twisted. You can see for yourself that I'm no naught. Come now. Are you the one I'm looking for? I'm already locked up. What more do I risk? Yes, I am a smuggler. But I'm not the only one in this city. I'm searching for a couple fleeing to Lene. They are trying to leave the city discreetly. Have they contacted you? You certainly can't imagine I'm going to answer you without getting something in exchange. I don't really think of my clients as kin, but I'd never betray any of them for free. <laughs> a real saint you are. How about your freedom in exchange for your loyalty? Tell me where I can find them and I'll open this cage. That works for me. Your two telemites are hidden in a warehouse behind this very prison. They must be waiting for me. But you might want to be quick about it. If the Norts get their hands on them, they'll find themselves in this same cage. Thank you. Anytime. And these doors? You're going to open them, right? Come on now. Let me out. You promise. Thank you, my lord. Now don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. Thank you, my lord. And don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. To my help! And death to the others! How do I sneak? Maybe I'm going to kill Halt! The warehouse is off limits. Move along. Did you hear the bell? The bell? Of the port authorities? Of course. We are not in Tulane, you know. You better get going. The harbor master is ringing it. All the Nords must rendezvous at the port authority immediately. Must be something serious. Damn, we didn't hear either. We're done for. Come on, we need to move fast. Be off with you. I'll watch over the warehouse in your absence. We've been found. I told you that the smuggler was not worthy of our trust. The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison. But reveal to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerned the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? 
frontier for D is without any doubt the land that our saints Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, St. Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth, which convinced St. Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white, and there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depths sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written is written. Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. Did you try speaking with the censors? You could. Forget what you have discovered, perhaps? Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I see. Well... You have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. I could have a word with the good Dr. Sahin, the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. May the Illuminated forever light your path. If I manage to convince the ambassador, you'll need to refrain from that sort of blessing. Stay here. I'll be back. What will happen? Will he agree? Hey, boy. Pahuchne to de boy.
Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme, and it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated. Or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. I would volunteer and consent to take them under my protection. But one good deed deserves another. You would like me to first oh, take buddy. care of your charlatan. You will certainly prove to be an excellent legate. Fuck. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Oh, okay. Request. What? First, we'll have to request. Then only he'll help. Obviously. Obviously. The alchemists of the Alliance have been promising us an antidote for years, but they've not found it. Good day, Tavern Keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? How is business going these days? It's picking up. We've not seen many new customers, but of late, things are looking better. The Malikor and the neighboring wars have dampened commerce. The epidemic still rages, but the possibility of finding a cure on that island has given people something to hope for. Now that we have a city there, quite a few seafarers come by to spend their wages. Has the Malachor really put a damper on your business? <laughs> More than a damper. They were soaked. When the sickness began to spread, a wave of panic followed in its wake. People stopped going out of their homes. They were afraid. I was close to closing shop, I tell you. And then, thankfully, the alchemists of the bridge said that you couldn't just catch it like that. People were still distrustful, as is their nature, but they are leaving home again. It's a start. I also lost quite a few regular customers. Dead or too scared to venture back. Oh, but that's nothing new to you. The city would have sunk in the water if not for trade with the new isle. With all these sailors coming and going, you must have heard some stories about Tia Fredi. Right. Even stories that my heaviest drinkers would have trouble believing. They say that man trees live there. Dragons and gigantic creatures. Treasure abounds under every rock. And the source of eternal life is hidden somewhere there. <laughs> Last night, some noughts even told me they brought back one of those giant beasts into the port. Ah, but you know the kind. If you ask my opinion, the drink was fueling their imaginations. I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantin. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered. And no one's paid for the damages. Oh boy. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age? Hair down to his neck, light brown? Blue eyes? Quite the talker? I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. 
I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. What kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. Yeah, he bought. That's not a small sum. I need to think about my options. How the father has forgotten to give his daughter her allowance, it would seem. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. This furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. I could repair this if I had some metal dowels. Where do I find them? I'll just pay him. Well then, were you able to repair it all? No, I haven't been able to sort them out. In that case, you need to pay me, my lady. Here you are, to cover your expenses. Excellent. Honest books makes for honest friendships. <laughs> your cousin is either a very bad joker or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They have a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender sorts. Thank you for the information. Off with ya. Get him out of whatever mess he's got himself into. Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pint? Anything else? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking, if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy, and energized life. Rejoice! 
A file only costs a few coins, and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. <laughs> that being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine.
Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I am in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. <laughs> Come on now. I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal <laughs> one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. Have you finally made up your mind? Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. How do I leave it? I will think about it. As you wish. But don't wait long. It won't last forever. What am I supposed to do? Have a nice day, madam. Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it? You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I am gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right... Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. 
ऐसे कैसे का आप हो गए बाजू में तो खड़ा था वो You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that's found you. Have you seen the mob that's gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he's the one who sent me. Sahin, him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance, and here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of Al Saad. Doctor Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. That doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I wasn't fortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy, to criticize their methodology. I saw them. Inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons to find a remedy to the malachor they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled, but I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the malachor. So you manipulate people to use as experimental fodder. That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them. I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you are hurting innocents. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, my lady? <sighs> I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting.
Listen, I beg you. If you want him to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me, I understand why you are angry. Me? It's not money I want. That charlatan tried to poison us. I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high. And you too, if you're an accomplice. How absurd. I'm the one who put an end to his operation. Well, in that case, help us catch him so he can be punished like he deserves. He's trapped. He'll have to come out someday, you'll see. <laughs> and so you plan on waiting here? I do not advise that. All of you drank one of those potions, am I right? You're right, we did. Tasted of death. I did nothing for me, Elsa. As for me, I only drank a few drops. But my tooth is aching more than ever. Alas, you need only drink a mere drop for it to provoke paralysis. Pa paralysis? A terrible side effect. The symptoms appear sooner or later. No one is spared from them. What? Are we doomed then? Everyone is. Except, of course, those going to see a doctor to receive the antidote. But what are we gonna do? The doctor costs a fortune. We're all gonna end up like statues. Listen to me, everyone. I know a good doctor that will help us. Come on, follow me. That charlatan will just have to wait to get what's coming to him. The alchemist is now far from danger, at least. Go and tell him the good news. So, did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? I persuaded the mob to disperse calmly and without a fight. The way is free. Very well. What power of persuasion? They didn't seem of a mind to hear reason from me. You were free. Climb into your carriage and leave Serene immediately. Let me deal with Dr. Sahimi. I owe you my life, my lady. I will be eternally in your debt. I remind you to never step foot here again. I have no desire to return anyway. Farewell. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally! Did you capture him? Let's just say that I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. Thing to fear. He will never step foot in Serene again. Huh. We'll eventually catch up with him and deliver the punishment that his crimes deserve. Governor Burhan will be happy to learn that such an amiable legate will soon cross the shores of Tirfredi. Thank you for your help, Excellency, and allow me to offer you this modest gift for your voyage. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady de Sade. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. Now that your affair is taken care of, are you planning on helping the historians I spoke to you about? We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time? At the port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to Al Saad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady de Sade. We owe you our lives. We are eternally grateful. It was nothing. I hope you won't have too much difficulty adapting to your new country. 
If you would allow me, I would like to give you this. It's not much, but it is all that we possess. <laughs> Farewell. You have a kind heart, Greenblood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. Good day, my lady. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing <laughs> to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders. Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise. If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? I don't think you understand who you were dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lady de Sade, niece of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable, especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion and theft. You know as well as I that the Congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That's a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay, unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... Oh. As you request, my lady. I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The Quartermaster must be expecting us. Lady de Sade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, 
You set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. <laughs> the commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, no. Yeah. If he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. Madam, you still haven't found your cousin. As you well know, we cannot leave without him. Have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? I'm still without news of my cabin boy, but we will have to do without. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel... I wouldn't go that far. We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship, the new Serene, leaves in a month. Hellfire! If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. <sighs> Captain. I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier 3D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse, and noted on the manifest, will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are gonna have to wait until the next ship sets sail. Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. The commander is gonna have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to doctor the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbor master's office. Be back soon, Captain. Let's take a look around the building. We might find a less conspicuous entrance. Where is the manifest to be found? I've already been to the port authorities. They keep the official documents upstairs.
Here is the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. uniform and you were able to keep your mark hidden from them they might let us in unless we just offered them a drink these sailors rarely refuse one i see where this is headed if we drop a little soporific in their glasses the way will be clear i'll just need to find the proper ingredients but it's doable Orders haven't changed, you know. No one passes. Can't you make an exception? No, sorry, milady. Move along, please. Now! Very well, I'm going. Orders haven't changed, you know. No one passes. Very well, I'm going. Orders haven't changed, you know. No one passes. Very well, I'm going. What am I supposed to wear? Hello? What can I do for you? We're your replacements. You're dismissed. Finally! We were starting to grow moss. Courage, me hearties. The path is clear. We should notify the men. They need all the time they can get.
Captain, milady, we were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. The way is clear. It's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move at all. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out. Quick steps. Good day. Someone told me that you were a friend of Jonas, the young cabin boy who has gone missing. That's right, yeah. Were you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro, and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Why? I haven't the faintest idea. What does Jonas do in his free time, when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, as far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart, and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all. But to him more than others, and when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I called back to him, as you guessed, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator, and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator, and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. I need to be going. Farewell. Good day, sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds, he didn't go missing, he was taken. 
Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puff. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were. And I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No. Not telling him that. I still have some pride left. You get me? Did Jonas seem troubled to you the night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. You think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. Kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a just man, who knows his knots. He's well appreciated by the crew. It's a pity that he hasn't much heart for lass now and again. Always seems unhappy, our captain. Thank you, Lavo. I need to be going. Strange story, this is. Something isn't right here. I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. Keeper. I see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? I am looking for a nought. A young cabin boy who has been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping in my establishment? You surely jest. At least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. Anything else? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No, have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I'm here. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago after visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing, that I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous, if he's disappeared. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in, with a band of strong arms. 
The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A moneylender? No, my lady. You're in luck. It so happens that I know the man. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulema embassy. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? Might I help you, my lady? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lady de Sade, and to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here, but perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We are looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. Oh. I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirm that your son had a fight with your husband and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly, witnesses, in a tavern, and you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family, <laughs> these witnesses are all in agreement, and it is their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him, a gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. What was your son doing on a nought ship? Why would they have taken him? It is what they do. Ugh. Through pacts and contracts, they steal away young children from their mothers. What are you talking about? I would have thought that a legate would know these things. But it is true that you are young and inexperienced. It seems that you have been protected from the turpitudes of our own nation and their terrible allies. This horrible, constant ransoming that they put us through. But I will not say another word. You will have no trouble verifying the details now that you know what to look for. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Noughts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact... It sounds like some fear-inducing... 
Excuse me, madam, but I haven't quite finished my inquiries yet. If you would be so courteous, I would like you to leave. I have told you all that I have to say. With respect, my lady. Madam, you still haven't found your cousin. As you well know, we cannot leave without him. Have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? I'm still without news of my cabin boy. But we will have to do without. I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. She claims that her son was taken from her. Taken? Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him up to honor the terms of a contract. A contract? But what kind of contract are we speaking of? A commercial contract. In exchange for services rendered by the Nords, some families seed more than gold. In some cases, nations even trade some of their subjects before they're born. I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract. I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. But what I can tell you is the young man hasn't seen his parents since he was a small child. And ever since, he's been a Nord. Our ships are his home. We are his only family. Be back soon, Captain. You see anyone else who might be able to help us? Anyone who's not a Nord? Sir de Corsinion is a veritable well of scientific knowledge. But I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, will you be in need of my help in any way? I've had a word with Lady Fontaine. You must know her. That rich family that lives near the docks. She told me a strange story about her son who was a cabin boy on our ship. She said that he was taken when he was a child due to some contract with the Nords. Who was a cabin boy? Do you mean he's no longer one? They took him back to bring him home. Well, that is very unpleasant news, Basade. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back to his ship. Since time immemorial, there has always been a certain price to pay for the services of the Nords. Children born on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts are so important that they also require children to be offered in exchange. From time to time, the congregation has passed such a call, and certain noble families had to give their children up. Are you telling me that the Fontaines lost their son in an agreement signed between my uncle and the Norts? Um, no. That pact ended a long time ago. This cabin boy couldn't have been a part of that contract. But Sir Fontaine has made a fortune trading with the Alliance. Via ships. Do you mean he would have offered up his own son in exchange for wealth? Well, he probably did it before the birth of the child and regretted it afterwards. But that is of little importance. What counts most is that you bring the boy back to the Norts as quickly as possible. Breaking a contract with the seafarers has always cost us dearly. Our nation could feel it in its coffers. I will do my best. A father selling his own son for a few boat rides. For ugly, that is ugly. Lady Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that detail. 
That could be of use to us. This document mentions another property, a warehouse. That would be a great place to hide. Shall we take a peek? Good day, Excellency. Lady de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? It pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. Curse them! How could that possibly have happened? After I heard the case they made for themselves, I decided to let them escape. What are you saying? They convinced me that your accusations have nothing to do with heresy, and that their only crime was discovering historical truths denied by Telenum. And you gave credence to the lies preferred by these blasphemers. Their historical truths are nothing but nonsense fabricated to undermine the foundations of Teleme. The simple act to have proffered such horrors proves the fact that they are heretics. I fear that your youth and kind heart has blinded you, De Sade. That is a shame. I was expecting more from a young legate who seemed sensitive to our magic. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade.
Fontaine won't be alone. He'll have his henchmen with him. Let's just try to remain discreet. Lady de Sade, what are you doing here? I have come looking for your son. The Noughts are worried about his disappearance. Uh, those Noughts took him from us, but now we've got him back, and he'll be staying with us. Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? You've taken your son against his will and have locked him up like merchandise in a warehouse. Is that what you call being a good father? As if you would know what it is like to be a parent. You are far too young to understand the way we feel. I looked into the contract that binds you to the Nords. It was indeed you who ceded your son to them in exchange for help with your business with the bridge. It is... It is so. But that sort of contract is ignoble. I never would have signed it if I had known. You should have thought of that before. Breaking the contract could have regrettable consequences for the congregation. The prince will know how to negotiate with the Nords. If they take my son back, my wife will die of sadness. Her sadness would be all the more terrible if she learned of your role in the story. Don't you think? You wouldn't dare tell her. I, I beg you. You were not leaving me with a choice. Very well. Take the key and take him away. Cursed be the day I delivered my son unto the noughts. All children leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell. My name is Desarde. I'm Legate of the Congregation. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my... my father to allow me to go free? Yes. Even if I had to bend his arm a little. That doesn't surprise me. He seemed to have no intention of changing his mind. I feel more sorry for my mother. She seems so sweet and happy to see me. You don't seem to be all that close to your parents. I hadn't seen them since I was five years old. I barely remember them. They find me, capture me, and lock me up in this warehouse. Hard to grow close after all that. My family is the Noughts. I am sorry for my parents, but that is the way of it now. Can I go home? Yes. You should still go and say farewell to your mother. Then find your way to your ship. I will see you there. इन्फॉर्म करना है सब Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with?
You still haven't found your cousin. As you well know, we cannot leave without him. Have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? My cabin boy, Jonas, is back on ship. I have you to thank, I imagine. You do. It's a rather sad affair, and though solved, leaves a broken family behind. All we can do is plot a course. No one tells the wind what to do. I do thank you. I didn't think you'd go to so much trouble for a cabin boy. Your actions bring you honor. Be back soon, Captain. Imbecile! I have a ship to catch! That vulture of a tavern master was right. It is Constantine's voice. It's coming from the floor above. He sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. It's not possible just now.
It's not possible just now. This has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to impress! Constantine, it's me! My fair cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fires. I do what I can. We are departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today we set sail for adventure. these river scum treated me. Do me a courtesy, fair cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. They haven't spotted us. We could sneak out of here silently. We have a ship to board. You've always been reasonable, sir. Don't you think these brutes deserve a punishment? Yes, without a doubt. But don't you think there are more pressing matters? Kurt... It is your highness's decision to make. Whatever it is, I shall follow.
छोड़ेगा नहीं जब तक इस आइलैंड का या जो भी सिटी है सारे क्वेस्ट खत्म नहीं हो जाते तब बेसिक स्टोरी यही है जो सिटी पे ये लोग है आम... ने नाम है सिटी का यहाँ पे काइंड ऑफ एक प्लेग या कुछ आया तो ये लोग एक दूसरे एक आइलैंड पे जा रहे हैं मिस्टीरियस आइलैंड और बोलते हैं कि उस आइलैंड में क्योर होगा वो सेट सेल करने से पहले मैं छोटे मोटे क्वेस्ट कर रहा हूँ मैं मैंने सारे साइड क्वेस्ट कर दिए अभी मैं वही जा रहा हूँ मेन क्वेस्ट करने क्योंकि ये आइलैंड से निकलने वाले हैं ना जो भी आइलैंड है बहुत सारे साइड क्वेस्ट हैं खत्म हो गए Your Highness, I'm happy to see you. Your absence this morning worried both your father and me. Come now, Sir de Corsino. My father may have been angry, outraged, or disappointed, but he's never worried about me. I am sad to have caused you any worry, though. Would you believe that I was rotting away in a sinister jail, guarded by thugs ready to kill me? Though still seeing double from last night's drink, I was preparing. Genius escape plan. When, ta-da! My fair cousin jumped up out of nowhere and saved me. I'm quite the fairy tale damsel in distress. You might have refrained from the company of bandits the night before such an important departure. Take away the risk and half the pleasure, De Corsino. It is the salt of life. Hmm. I fear that some of my teachings have been misunderstood. But you wanted to ask me something, Desade. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. Two three hours to go. I have to do a side quest. Madam, Constantine Dorsey, future governor of Tier Freddy. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, Your Highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. If you have any farewells to make or any final business to put into order, now is the time. No, my house is in order. We are ready to embark. Perfect. Follow me. I am so eager to discover Tier Freddy. My isle, my new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures, as big as buildings. That's right. I heard a rumor the Norse even brought them back in one of their ships. क्या ही शिप है बे वो तो पाक बहुत ही बड़ा सीओसीफ के गैलियन के डबल साइज का है 
Those conniving, pistol-stilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need roots! We must contain it! Help! Come then. Let's send them a hand. But Ooh. fuck! How am I supposed to fight this? Give me what? No. This game me roll kar de. Dark Souls jaisa to kya hi baat hote? Madam, Constantine Dorsey. In charge. Are you ready? Permission. Sir, do you have it? No. Perf You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. The Norts even brought one back in one of their ships. I doubt that. The Norts are strange, but they're not idiots. The beast is awoken! Those Are how do I escape this? Imaka? What? Why is it so big and it's falling on me? What the fuck? Who is it? 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 Madam, Constantine does send you. Are you sure? Permission? Sir, do you have it? No. Perf. You'll need to arm yourself with oh, patience. By the way, the will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. Oh, boy, I'm sorry. I have better armor. As big as buildings. That's right. Uh, I heard a rumor the Norts even brought one back in one of their ships. I doubt that. The Norts are strange, but they're not idiots.
क्या ही बात मेरे हाथ में क्या सीधा ग्रीन ब्लॉक हाउ डू यू फेयर फाइन फाइन इट इज डेड आर यू वुंडेड आई एम वेल योर लेसंस हैव प्रूवन इफेक्टिव आई हैव नेवर सीन अ बीस्ट दिस साइज इट्स क्वाइट एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी कजन व्हाट अ फाइट यू वर इलस्ट्रेट आई एम नॉट ऑफ द सेम माइंड I have a feeling it was already weakened. I did nothing more than finish it off. Your humility remains a constant. But believe me, that battle was absolutely epic. Can I take my trap? शिप ये है मैडम जेंटमैन कैसी बात योर कजन इंथ्यूजियाजम इज मोस्ट इंप्रेसिव दिस जर्नी इज हिज नॉन अवेटेड चांस टू प्रूव हिज वर्थ ही हैज अ डिमांडिंग फादर मोर लाइकली ही इज जस्ट हैप्पी टू बी फ्री ऑफ दिस हॉर्नेट्स नेस्ट I definitely know I am. That's certain. Yes, my friend. Well, four o'clock. Fire! Fire! Gaming will be done. Good shit. What a charming welcoming committee. Gentlemen, I am Constantine of House Orsay, your new governor. I have no idea what sort of ceremony you've prepared for my arrival, but I would gladly skip it. So, <laughs> indeed, indeed, these are rather peculiar customs. I, I see, I see. It seems you are quite intent on serving me a drink. Hello. Cat got your tongue, gentlemen. Would it be those annoying beaks? <laughs> I am truly sorry these doctors should have shown a greater measure of courtesy. Thank you, dear doctors. Move along. Don't trouble the nords. 
pay no attention to them. Instead, just drink. The long voyages at sea require the appropriate treatment as soon as we land. According to our scientists, without fortifiers, you might catch your death, and that would be quite regrettable. I should have chosen death. This concoction is liquid torture. <laughs> I would think that they would have warned you on the ship. Oh, not in the slightest. And you must be Lady Morange, my predecessor. You are correct. There you are. To your health. Aha! You got your dose of bile too. Allow me to present to you Lady Morange, and to you, my dear lady, my most trusted cousin. Where is the captain? He seems to be preoccupied with some sort of admiral. Indeed. Then I will have to thank him later for this most marvelous voyage. Excellency, lead me to the palace, I beg you. And, whenever possible, go by way of all the intriguing alleyways. I am dying with impatience to discover this new city. My city! Uh, your Excellence! We must wait for our escort! No need! Have no fear, for I am still here to defend you, my lady. I've been scullied. How so? My Admiral laid me off. My cousin was nonetheless delighted with your services. I hope that there was no misunderstanding. None, I'm sure of it. She just ordered me to give you any assistance you might need. This request doesn't seem to please you. Don't take offense, but it's not pleasant for a captain to abandon his ship. In any case, here I am at your service for a while. I guess I'll continue tomorrow from here.